This is crazy, man. Every time I see it, I don't believe it. <laughs> this is stuff everywhere. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. And we are back at quite possibly my favorite antique market, flea market that I have ever been to. This place is absolutely wild. It is a nostalgia gold mine. Now, if you guys missed uh, my video from this place last year, you gotta go back and check it out. I think it is my most viewed video on YouTube, and for good reason, because this place is crazy. I'm talking about stuff just piled up in the front yard. It is an over overwhelming flea market, but it is absolutely incredible. I'm pumped to get into it, so let's jump into the footage. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Every time I see it, I don't believe it. <laughs> like, this is stuff everywhere. Look at it. Look at this place, man. All right, y'all. Here we go. Our yearly stop. Antiques and collectibles. We always find gold. Maybe we'll have our third straight year in a row finding, finding gold. Let's see. Okay, come on, son. Let's hit the pavement. There he is. Been waiting on you. Been waiting. <laughs> we're back. We're back, man. Third year in a row. He's waiting for his commission. Okay. Okay. I think we're top dog, Henry. It's the top. It's it's yeah. close yeah. to half a million probably at this point. Crazy. He said top dog. <laughs> Oh, look at these. I already see something I like. Okay, so I have never seen these before. These are the little uh, ET, ET earrings. I got to get these for somebody. I don't know who. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. Oh, these are so cool. This one's cool too. They're all unpunched. Look at this. Look at these. Uh, I don't know how much these are, but we're going to grab a couple of these. Where else are you going to find these? Nowhere. Unpunched. ET jewelry. Let's go. Oh yeah, you said people have came came from the video? <laughs> That's crazy. From where? Colorado and I can't remember a couple other out of state places. So cool. I find that happens a lot. People are like, I live in this town and didn't even know this was a thing, you know? And then they, they end up going to that flea market or whatever it is. All right. get into Pez at all? I haven't. I think they're super cool though. Like here's our, there's a ton right here. I'm looking at a whole, a whole thing of them right here. I mean, they're really cool. I just, there's some Simpsons ones, it's Goofy. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It's a Boba Fett. Look at this Boba Fett. Look at that. 70 bucks. What year is this guy? Talking, talking Boba Fett. Looks 90s, 1998. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Simpsons figures, it looks like. Oh, I love this store so much. Okay, hey, look, here's some games. This one's a good one to get right here, guys. You know, you know this one's good. Skylanders Trap Team. It sells for like 25 ish. We'll get that one. A couple of toys down here. Burger King, Burger King Kids Club. Ooh, you guys know what this is. Oh no, he's, he's missing his head. It's a leather head. <laughs> Really, it's a really good piece of this. Complete Dr. Robotnik right there. We'll wind up here. Let's look at a couple of these comics. I'm not gonna like dig deep, but just let's just look. We got Oh golly, I love that one. Right off the bat. I love that one. Let me get that one. I'm seeing a lot of Conan. I don't know anything about Conan, but werewolf. Look at this guy. He's on the uh Motorcycle? Got to get him. He needs the remote, but. Okay, I, I can't, I can't tell y'all how my mind is blown every time I come into this place. There is so much to look at. Like, look, there's just row after row, and so much of it is all the stuff that I love. The guy that owns it is awesome. He always gives us a deal. Like we basically just pile up everything and he's like, ah, give me, give me 30 bucks for it. I'm like, yes, this is amazing. So we're just digging, man. Lots of car stuff. Now I've never been into all like the car, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, stuff like that. Come on, man, it's embarrassing. 
Ninja's trying to get me. But he does have a lot of that stuff. If you are ever in the Northeast Arkansas area, this is definitely definitely the place to go to look at like all the little like metal cars and stuff like that. So over here, this is the big cabinet of like old McDonald's toys from back in the day. I think that right there is, is that Page Master right there? That guy? Hockety pockety? Oh yes, yes, that's right. Hockety pockety wockety wack, odds and ends and brick and brick. Let's see a Beetlejuice figure over there in a Maniacs. It's just so much good stuff. You got a got Alvin and the Chipmunks, you got King Kong. Really cool pieces, man. <laughs> this has been here for a long time. This is that Space Jam mug. It's like, is that supposed to be Michael Jordan? Bruh. Like, that does not look like Michael Jordan. Oh, I love the box though. How much is this guy? Let's just see, 15 bucks. That's a humongous bugs. Look at that. What? It's got buttons on it. It did something at some point. I'm gonna think on, I'm gonna think on bugs. Oh, part oh. of his hand came off. Can he be repaired? I have to call the doc. What's up doc? Okay, I do see a Power Rangers beast morpher. You know, you know who would love that? Your son? My son! Who's this guy? Look at that guy, he's wacky. There's just, this is the only, there's just never been a place like this that I've ever been. The old Viewmasters. Dad, you know, you know those. Zoe, look at my Viewmaster viewer. Other gift sets include Michael Jackson and Masters of the Universe, each sold separately. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff. It's so good, man. It's so good. All right, let's 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 do this. So glasses, more car stuff. I kind of have to train my eye to go away from the car stuff. Even though, again, it's really cool. I just, I don't collect the car stuff. So you gotta, you gotta look within all the little cracks and crevices. Last time we found a Simpsons bank here. That was pretty cool. So many cars and trucks just everywhere. Bunch of glasses. You got the Bud Light doggy. The Bud Light dog. His name is Buzz McKenzie. Buzz McKenzie. With a beach in sight and a cold Bud Light. He's in the party frenzy. Whoa. Look at the wrestling section, guys. All right, so I'll be I'll be honest. I don't know wrestling that great. Didn't grow up with it. Here's a figure. Looks definitely like 90s, maybe 80s. Look at this guy. NWO, Kevin Nash. Okay, five bucks. I bet you guys are seeing this stuff. You're like, pick it all, pick it all up, buy it all. Got a Sting figure right there. Oh, there's a glare. There's Sting over here. Look at that, look at that set right there. Gotta get this, we'll get this for, for my kiddo. Little Power Ranger figure for two bucks. He'll be happy. <laughs> These old Pepsi things are cool too. Like he has a, almost a full booth of Pepsi stuff. Like all these old Pepsi bottles. That Pepsi truck. That Pepsi truck is really cool. Is Pepsi okay? It's Pepsi a crrr. Did you just ask if Pepsi a crrr? There's an old like tin sign. And just these, like just these are really cool to me. They're like styrofoam Pepsi cups. There's a 1986 Mets dad, RC Cola. Oh yeah. Right there. World Chops. Here are some more McDonald's toys. Let's see if I can open this up. Yeah, the bottles. Take a decent little look in there. Okay. And then here is more Coke stuff. Like, look at this. This is a Coke styrofoam cup. And it's like still somehow intact. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The old, I, I got these at KFC. The like Looney Tunes cups, the Tweety Bird. There's like a Tweety Bird. There's Bugs, there's Wally Coyote, Taz. There's stuff on the ceilings, guys. <laughs> like literally hanging from the ceilings this stuff so these are oil cans and stuff like that frank fritz would love this or maybe not maybe he has all these he probably has them all but you never know dad i could see you i could see you getting into collecting uh, old oil cans and yeah. stuff like that put them all around your your garage all right here are the lunch boxes there's usually always a couple cool ones down here here is a pocahontas one 
these are just a bit faded, but it's two ninety nine. I mean, that's about where it needs to be. Two ninety nine, or you know, being this being this messed up. Here's fur skins, and we got a hunchback right here. Hunchback. That one was four bucks. This one is tailspin. I think it has a little thermos in there. That one actually might be worth getting if the thermos is in good shape. Oh, it's got Tiny Toons Adventures in there, but it's only five bucks. Oh, could that be restored? Check it out. This was just donated to the channel for my kiddo. I think Jordan, Jordan, were you the one that gave that to my buddy? I think it was Jordan. I usually find some pretty cool magazines and books right in here. So let's see if we can't find a couple to pick up. Right off the bat, here is a Return of the Jedi book. Really, really cool cover. It's in full color. Look at that. De definitely gonna get this. Got my my Star Wars buddy that will that will get this. Michael, if you're watching, gonna hook you up with that. Continue to build his Star Wars collection. I passed up a Back to the Future car last time I was here, and I regretted it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll still be here. Here's some Barbies, just a couple. The turtle van is always a classic. I actually picked up one of these before when I was here. So this is $2.99 for the turtle trucks, or the turtle vans. Let me see if this is $2.99 as well. These are always just good to have, do giveaways and things like that. All right, we'll pick up one of the turtle vans. Oh, well, hey, there, look, there's more cars <laughs> over here. <laughs> He's probably had, he has thousands. I know. All right, let's go through here real quick. I see some board games. Like, look, look, look at this, even this little tight spot right here has more cars. I bet I'm missing some really cool cars that are like, you know, ones from movies and stuff like that. I don't remember this little spot being here. I think maybe he, uh, he added on or something. Hey, check the ceiling out. It's doors. The ceiling, guys, are doors. <laughs> hey, look, I'm only like 5'8", and I can touch the ceiling. That's what we're looking at. It's tight. It's tight back here. Here's a little handheld game. Sears, Dad. Auto race. This is Sears Auto Race. Never seen one. Here's a Simpsons game. The Simpsons game, Mystery of Life. Unfortunately, if the front of it was intact, I'd probably think about getting that. But... Oh, look. Here's a Amish set. <laughs> the, the Amish set. That's funny. Oh, bunch of board games. Bunch of board games. You got Mork and Mindy. Look at this. Work and Mindy, the board game, and then right here, I'm interested. Let's see. Let's look at. Let's look at a couple of these. First off, you got Care Bears, and then this is the one that I'm interested in. So I can't get to it. This. Look at this. Oh my. I love the colors. I'm thinking. Wasn't this from the '80s? I don't know. It says. Incomplete missing missing pieces. Really cool though. I've never seen that board game before. Cars, man. Cars, cars to the ceiling, all the way up there. So rich. All the way around. There's so many cars and trucks. What's your favorite car? Vintage. Uh, I like. There's a couple of the different '60s Mustangs I really like. But I mean, I don't know. I've never really been a car guy. Dad, favorite car of all time. What is it? 41 Plymouth Woody Wagon. I bought when I was in high school. <laughs> okay. Check this out. $10 and it was in great shape. I've never bought a car for $10 before. Look it up. See what that car is worth today. What are What is your favorite car down below? Tell us what's your favorite car of all time. I want to say like maybe 68 Mustang. All right. Here are a bunch of like they're newer Hot Wheels, but Masters of the Universe van. $8.99 for that guy. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. This X-Men one is really cool. They just announced the, the new show. So X-Men stuff's going kind of crazy. All fire trucks. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at all these That's up here. crazy. You got fire trucks all the way up here. There it is. This is the one I passed up on and I regretted it last time. This is Back to the Future. This is where the manure gets all over Biff's car. Manure! I hate manure! Gotta get it. Okay, don't normally buy cars. I think we have four cars at this point. I do like this. The 1986 Chevy Caprice. Home Alone car. That's the Home Alone car. I love it. Getting it. All right, do y'all remember these? 
These are the Star Wars Episode One Pizza Hut. I think they like went on a cup or something like that. You got Darth Maul, Anakin. Ah, so many of these. Do you remember these? Look at this. It's R two D two. All right, if there's a commercial for that, I'm definitely definitely throwing that in. Hey, look what I found! Right now, get one of these cool Star Wars collector cups, each featuring one of your favorite characters, exclusively at Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut. This is what they look like. So you got Anakin on top of this Pizza Hut cup, and it would go like that. Like that is super nostalgic for me. I had that when I was a kid. Look at this. Like guys, this is another section of this flea market and that's the little walkway. <laughs> like that's how tight these spots are. He has utilized every square inch of this place. I'm, I'm just gonna guess there's more cars back here. No, God, please, no. Oh yeah, okay, so we are actually, we actually already went through, through that area, but a ton more, a ton more cars. That's actually pretty neat right there. Look at that. Hot Wheels, Star Wars set, Transporter, and X-Wing Fighter. I mean, come on. Diecast set. Let's see how much this guy is. I don't see a price. Really cool, though. I like it. Star Trek watch. Look at that. Check this out. Oh, these are cool. These are Star Trek marbles. Star Trek marbles. Oh, look at these comics, too, man. There's more over here. All right, I did see some VHS through here. Check it out. I never see Animorphs VHS, y'all. Check it out. 50 cents for Animorphs VHS. One of my favorite shows from back in the day. Any other ones up here? We got some Star Trek, Goldmember, Dick Tracy. Yeah, I don't need any of those, but definitely gonna get this one, definitely. Some more of those little McDonald's figures from Disney movies. Jungle Book, Peach Dragon, Jungle Book again. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, Jiminy Cricket. This place is my favorite ever. Just stuff everywhere, all over the all over the ceilings. All the floors squeak. Exactly the kind of place I want to come to. Do one more, one more quick glance in here. This front section has a lot of the stuff that I like. So what's the most exciting thing you found somewhere else this year? You know what Dungeon and Dragons are? The, sh the, the, the game? It's an old game from that started out in the 70s. I found the original the original game of it. It's worth like 500 bucks. I found them for 50 cents at a thrift store. Wow. Really cool. It's well, probably, probably the coolest thing I found. Easily one of my favorite places to go hunt. Guys, I'm telling you, this place is insane. It is wild. It's a little bit off the beaten track, and I really do believe most people wouldn't even go into this place. Not because it's not great, because it's just overwhelming. You see it from the street, and you're like, what is going on in there? And then you actually go in, and you're like, holy crap. I'm so glad uh, that we stopped. So let's go through all of these pickups. The first thing we have are these ET little jewelry pieces. These are from 1982 and these are all unpunched. Uh, they're supposed to go up on, you know, on the little hang tab thing in a store and they were never even punched. So he had these last time. I can't remember if I got one or two, but this time I got five and a couple of these are different. You got ET dressed up like the woman with her hair and then you got this one that just has the ET logo, which is really sick. Uh, I got a couple of those and then I got two of these. It's just Elliot, Elliot, Elliot and ET. And these are really cool. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these, but I think he ended up giving me these, giving these to me for like a buck. So got those. And then we got this Mario uh, on a motorcycle. I I'm not sure what exactly he did. If he had a control, a remote, I don't know. Looks like he's got wheels down here too. Uh, I had the car. My son plays with the remote control car that drifts all the time. That thing is super rad, but I thought, uh, for a couple bucks, this would look good just uh, on the shelf because look at it, it looks freaking rad. So if you go to this place, you know you have to get at least a couple Hot Wheels items because this place is just filled with them. And I did get three. So I got, first up is this Back to the Future uh, Biff's car. Now I was super bummed last time because I passed on this 
And I was like, why did I not get that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I passed, but this time I did not. It was still there, thankfully, uh, a year later, or maybe he got more. But I got Biff's car, and then we got uh, another party wagon. These are always good to get, especially if you can get them cheap. Uh, I like to throw these into like giveaways and things like that. So you got the TMNT party wagon, party van, and then this last one, it's not a Hot Wheels car, but it is a car. It's a 1986 Chevy Caprice, and this is the police car from uh, Home Alone. I actually was just gifted the van, the, the van from Home Alone, uh, Marv uh, and Harry's car or van, and now I got the, the police car. So cool to get all these. I, I'm not planning on collecting a bunch of like Hot Wheels cars, but these all fit basically, you know, the, the movies and the shows that I really like. So glad to get all these. A couple random items. The first one is this sick Star Wars Return of the Jedi book. And apparently this thing is in full color and it is. Every page is in color. What year is this guy? 1983. And for the year, it's in really good shape. And I think it is friggin' rad. I'm gonna get this to my buddy, Michael, that loves Star Wars. So I got that. Next up is an Animorphs VHS. I think this could be the first time I've ever seen uh, an Animorphs VHS. I love the show, love the show back in the day. I actually have a couple puzzles uh, of Animorphs, but I've never seen a VHS. So I got that for 50 cents. And then we got Skylanders Trap Team on the Xbox One. They had very little in terms of video games there, but this game, last time I looked, was selling anywhere from like 18 to 20 bucks, and even more than that sometimes. So I got that just purely uh, as a flip, but uh, three random things to pick up. Uh, at, at that place and then our last item our last item probably my favorite item is this x-men comic book my comic book collection is uh growing rapidly at this point and this thing is beautiful you got storm and you got beast on the front and there is just something about those friggin vibrant colors that i love so much so this is probably uh, my favorite piece from this trip. You guys tell me, tell me down below what was your favorite thing that you saw uh, at this place because there is so much to see, so much to see. Uh, our yearly stop at, at this flea market is always uh, a really great time. But guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would, like the video. It helps out so much for the channel. Subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, peace.